this uh, second episode with Dr. Yitzhak Derma. Hello to you. Hi. Let's talk about uh, the immediate psychology. Show with me one story of success of one of your patients that you use this tool to create and help to overcome the obstacle of your patient. We had this girl, 15 year old, that was abused and the family didn't know. Somebody from the family was abusing her. The, fam the family didn't know. And a lot of illness and sickness came out of it. Of course, that was an expression, again, of her internal problems with that, which was very severe for her. And um, when she sat with me, we, we went to see to where that episode in her life going to take her. Instead of how that episode in her life harmed her. So how, how practically this kind of conversation was held and led by you? You were asking her what exactly? So when you went through that, by the way, we made sure that it stopped. So it have to be, we had to stop it first, which it did. And then now we're going to, to work with her to take her out of that situation to her next level in life, when she mm -hmm. was only 15. So first of all, we made sure it stopped. She was, um, she, somebody, that somebody was removed from that environment. So she's going back to her life. But when she's going back to her life, she's going back to her life with this trauma. So before me, others worked with her, but they always went back to the trauma keep going back to the trauma and how to release it and back to trauma how to release it so she didn't go f she, it was very very little advancement and she became sicker and sicker and sicker all the time we did not go to the trauma we went to what are the possibilities following that one, that trauma once for all so you were asking what are the possibilities and what was her answer so we, we start building possibilities from that. The first one is obviously becoming a victim. It could be a life mission to so, be a victim. Okay, so, so we not so the first thing we need to understand if we are staying in a mode of victimization, you're not going anywhere. You're going back to becoming a victim. So you your body will have to produce symptoms of a victim. Another possibility would be that maybe she will choose to be an abuser. That's very true. True. So when you look in these two ends, an abuser and a victim, you need to teach her that victimiza victimization, she was only one time, and that's over. And to see how others not getting hurt because of her behavior. So we're going to put her back on track, the tracks of life. In a conversation. In a conversation. And what track? You track will, of life, yeah. What track of life? As part of this conversation, she chose to step on. It's very good. So she decided that that's going to empower her. The trauma. Yes. How? It's going to make her stronger. And we we came to the understanding that she didn't know how to stand for herself or for anything at, at home. Anybody at home that wanted something on her account, they took. So it made her look like she always gives up and always backs off. So she never stood for herself at home. And once we understood that that type of victimization, somebody took more advantage of that and she could say no. So that was a big, very big lesson for her to become very powerful and to know how to keep her place anywhere she is, she, she going to be at home at school, later she came back to me after a few years at work and with her relationship with her partners. 
And after we were done with the sessions, which were uh, about three sessions of conversation, conversation only three sessions mm -hmm. of half an hour each, mm -hmm. and then some uh, quantum mind medicine treatments with that, she came after uh, four years back to me, all happy with the relationship, with the job in school, and with. Uh, she came that time to enhance more of her power, more of her potential with the relationship with others, with men especially. And she, she was very successful with that. She just wanted to, to become empowered a little bit more. The trick was, we found what was the problem, which wasn't the victimization. It wasn't that somebody abused her. It was the part that she was weak and they told her at home that she have to give up all the time. All the time, doesn't matter in what. If something happened at home, you need to give up. You need to let go. You need to back off. You need, you need, you need, you need. So she gave up on herself. When she gave, gave, gave up on herself, that somebody took over her. Once we understood that, that was the problem. The, the, the abuse wasn't the problem. It was the pedestal. It was the light. It was something that woke her up to show us what's going on with her. And once she understood that, we turn it into power, we turn it into potential. And she becomes strong with her mind, with her body, and nobody could touch her anymore, nobody could abuse her anymore. Nobody, she took back her place in the family. And that was the success, that was the victory of hers in life. So, the immediate psychology as part of the uh, the ultimate medicine would be that in a series of short conversation you and your team will be able to release traumas from the past so people could just choose the right vehicle to success so we'll release them from the thought that the trauma is the problem and not to carry it on to take that trauma is only a warning sign and take the cause what brought them to be victims and to take that and empower that and then to continue with that force and power for themselves potentiality to their life now we do that like in very short sessions we enhance it with QMM which is very important which means we go to the body and we treat the body also after the conversation of, of uh, the immediate psychology and create also desomatization because the body holds information and memories. So we enhance it, it makes it even more powerful when we combine the two. So it creates desomatization and then they're being released for, for good from that one trauma or many times trauma or multiple traumas from other stuff, that's what they do. Immediate psychology as part of the ultimate medicine. People that are feeling kind of trauma that they want to leave back as part of the ultimate medicine and want to be part of your community just to click, to leave the message, to make a phone call or Skype call or video WhatsApp and to be part of the new community of the ultimate medicine. Absolutely. Thank you very much. Thank you.